hi my friends i love you and miss you and i miss teaching you in person so hopefully this little video will be helpful today as you work on your clocks all right so looking down at your paper for monday we are first working on oops, this way sorry guys we are first working on telling time to the hour and the half hour so let's start with the first one 9 30. Okay, now you can start with whatever you're comfortable with. If you like to start with the hour hand first or the minute hand, I'm going to start with the minute hand first. So I'm going to look to the back. And I know when I'm counting by minutes, there's no 30 on my clock. So I need to count by fives. So let's point to number one and start counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Stop. Okay, we got to 30. So 30, we're doing our minutes. So remember, our minute hand is our long hand. It's going to touch that six. There we go. Okay, I'm done with minutes. Now let's go to our hour hand. Our hour hand's a bit easier. We do not need to count by fives. Look and see, is there a nine on this clock? Okay, see nine on this clock? Our, our little shorter hour hand is going to point almost to the nine. Now, one little question for you guys. Why do you think I didn't point my hour hand right at the nine? I could have done it right in the middle. Think about that. Okay, so why I didn't point it right at the middle? Because it was right at the middle when our clock was starting. But now 30 minutes have passed. So this little guy is moving a little bit. He's not to the 10 yet. He's still at the nine, but he's moving up a little bit. All right, so there's our first one for 9.30. Let's try one for an hour. Okay, what about seven o'clock? Again, I'm gonna go back to my minutes, do those first. So my minutes, it's zero. This was five, we need to go back five. So zero, our minute hand pointing right at our 12. Perfect, that's the o'clock. Okay, now let's go to our hour. Let's find it. Okay, think about it. Should I point it exactly at the seven or a little bit past? Okay, good. For this one, I'm going to point it exactly at the seven because the hour has just started. Notice that my hour hand's a little shorter, shorter word, shorter hand, and then it hands a little longer. Longer hand, longer word. Okay, let's do one more of these and then we're going to switch over to using hands to write down the time. Okay, let's try another half hour. Do 11, 30. Okay, again, I'm gonna do the minute first. Right here, 30, let's count. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Woo. Probably a lot of you at this time are saying this also, we get it, 30's up to six. Awesome, always good to check your work and you can do that by counting by fives. Okay, I'm moving on to the hour. Think about it now for a second. I'm at 11, 30, so some of my time has already passed in my hour. Does that mean I should point my shorthand right at the 11 or a little bit past it? Yep, a little bit past it because we've already had some of this hour go by. So as you can see, if I use my dotted finger, it's going to come close to it, but not right at it. And it's a shorter hand. Nice job, guys. Okay, let's figure out the opposite now. I'm going to draw some hands on my clock. You all should tell me. What am I pointing to? Okay. Okay, let's do it. So I know my hand is pointing to the top. If it's at the 12, it's starting at zero or O clock. So no minutes. Now, where is my hour hand pointing? At the one? No. Two? No. Three? No. Four, there we go, took our dotted finger out, pointing at the four. Four o'clock. 